So I'm going to start by ripping off the band-aid and splashing with the cold water. This morning, Niji Sanji officially announced that Selen Tatsuki has been terminated. Now, I made a much more organized video on my main channel. You can check that out. It's listed in the description where we go through the document. We go through the timeline of events. We look at Selen's personal account and some tweets there. And we get a lot more of a clear look at this whole picture. But in this video, I want to take some time and give some more general thoughts and opinions about Niji Sanji and this entire situation, as well as some side events that have been happening over the past couple of hours since I uploaded that video to my main channel. So, to begin, we all know that Niji Sanji has terminated their contract with Selen Tatsuki. The details of this document have been immediately contradicted by statements made by the Doki Bird account, which is the personal and past life account of Selen Tatsuki, where we can see tweets that happened during the month or so that she's been absent from her main account. And we also see new tweets that were posted in response to this document being shared by Niji Sanji. And thank God she was awake when this announcement suddenly went live. She was not prepared for this, but luckily saw it and was informed by friends that it went live. So she made this quick statement and pinned it to her account where she shares more details about the situation and confirms that her hospitalization back in December was the result of an attempt on her own life where the major reason for that was the bullying and toxic and poor environment she faced while at Niji Sanji. And this is a very grim development and it confirms a lot of the suspicions that people had about her health and her well-being during this time. But it's made people pick a side. And guess what? They're picking her side. The public has decided. Niji Sanji management is completely in the wrong for this. You can see the public reaction. They've lost any sense of good PR. Like, this seems like it's the last straw. Everyone's coming after Niji Sanji's management right now. And really, the company as a whole, they feel like they just can't support them after what's coming out. And as pointed out here, in this community note, there's a lot of contradictions. I have never seen anything like this happen. The official post from the Niji Sanji official account has been hit with a community note, which if you don't know what a community note is, it's basically Twitter's fact check system. And it says right here, Niji Sanji EN statement says that they privated a music video before saying it was misleading for Selene to say management privated the video. A contradiction. Selene claims she already asked to leave the company after bullying in a toxic environment that led to her hospitalization. Now, if you have a Twitter account, please feel free to positively rate this note so it stays up. But I have never seen anything like this. I have never seen an official account from a big VTuber agency get a note like this. This is pretty unheard of. But like I said... I really think the public has decided that they've had enough of Niji Sanji's management and really the organization as a whole because of the way that they have treated Selen. So moving on, we've seen a lot of tweets like this get major, major support where they point out a particular part of the document, which not only acknowledges that Selen spent $15,000 of her own money to have that music video created and then privated only hours after it went live, but they also acknowledge this whole arc here where Selen insists that she was being harassed and in their own words they cite this harassment as coming from other affiliated livers due to mismanagement they seem to want to throw other livers under the bus in this english statement which by the way is not a translated statement this is their official translated statement this is not a fan made one or a viewer made one this is their official english uh, post about this situation so a lot of posts like this have raised concerns that, well, she seems like she was going to management saying, I'm being bullied from inside. And then basically they just said, uh, suck it up, get back to work, or you're going to be terminated. That, that pretty much sounds like what's going on here. In fact, things are even worse when you translate the Japanese version of this document. As this user has pointed out, it says, people should read the Japanese version of the statement too, because it's more specific saying that Selin was not harassed, but merely pointed out by other livers, probably because she didn't respond to the management nor listen to them, so the other livers had to persuade. So basically, in this version of the document, they go a step further than the English one, where they're basically saying, oh, it's just livers criticizing her for not following the rules, and it, it, she wasn't harassed at all. It's, it's, it's her fault. Yeah, pretty disrespectful to throw her under the bus after everything she's done with Niji Sanji since her debut in 2021. She has been a leader, a well-respected VTuber, pretty much flawless. Like, no one has a problem with Selene Tatsuki, and she has broke her back 
for this organization and now they are throwing her under the bus and trying to make it seem like it's all her fault. Now, of course, in the document, they say, there's no way we can continue working with Selene. It became an impossible situation. However, as pointed out by this user, only a few days ago, they were doing promotional merch that included Selene and voice packs and things like that. So clearly, they don't have a problem profiting from her, but they claim they couldn't work with her. And this was all happening while this stuff was taking place behind the scenes. And another good positive thing that's come out of the situation is we've seen some other merch companies, including smaller merch companies like this, come forward and make statements. People have worked with Niji Sanji. This uh, merch company in particular has stated that they will no longer work with anything related to Niji Sanji. And they essentially are just wishing the best for Selene on her Doki Bird account. And you know, what they're saying, their personal account of meeting Selene at Anime Expo of 2022 and her love of artists and creators and how much of a likable person she is, it's not surprising to anyone. And it's good to see a company take a stand because, you know, wh where is the line? I know a lot of this is business, but at the end of the day, you're seeing the results of what people would consider a black company and the mistreatment of their talents, including the ones who are just the most publicly beloved and seem for years like they are a integral part of the organization. And there, there's, there's no way they would be mistreated by their management because they work so hard and they're so likable and so profitable for the company. But here we are. And if you're not only a member of an, a merch company or something like that who collaborates with Niji Sanji, also think about the talents. I, I don't really know how a lot of talents can sit there and idly watch what's happened to Selene without having at least some strong feelings about it or strong concerns about their own existence within this company. And, you know, it should be a, a massive red flag if that's how they treat someone like her. I mean, how are they going to treat other people in the company? And it's just a very uh, trying situation. I wouldn't be surprised to see other livers take this as an opportunity to leave the company. I really wouldn't be surprised because right now, if you left the company as a Niji Sanji, especially EN Liver, I think you'd be applauded right now. People would really applaud you. Now that's down to a personal decision. It's not that easy. There's contracts involved and things like that. But definitely that is a fair observation. I believe that people would be met very, very warmly for leaving the company right now. And right now is the time. Even if you, even if you don't actually believe it or, or you're actually hurt by it, it's still a pretty good excuse to leave, even for the most disingenuous liver out there who just wants to use this situation as an out. I mean, it's still a pretty good strategy. But anyways, we've seen people try to come out and say, hey, listen to both sides. She did violate some of these rules. Well, you know what? In agencies like this, especially with entertainers like VTubers, rules are broken all the time. Okay, rules are going to be inadvertently broken all the time. And it's about discretion. Are you going to actually punish a liver every single time they violate a rule. In this situation, everything that they listed in their public document basically shows that they were impeding all of her projects. They were impeding her community related events. And she acted to make these things happen because they were either dragging their feet or they were actively trying to sabotage whatever was going on. It seems like that was a very clear thing. So I don't really want to hear about Niji Sanji's side too much on this because really it seems like they were the one provoking this. She wouldn't be able to do half the things she was going to do or actually went out and did if she didn't try to subvert some of these, these really just kind of over-the-top draconian rules that they have in place just to basically have an, a reason to always have a, a, an option to say you violated this very general and cryptically worded rule. But we've also seen a very interesting set of reaction to this. A lot of people were responding very hostily to people who were concerned about Selene back when she was hospitalized because we had no information as to why she was hospitalized. And some people now rightfully made the assumption that she might have hurt herself. And that's exactly what happened. And people back then, some Niji Sanji fans like this, uh, the ones in these pictures, were saying that they should report users who were making these really just pretty fair assumptions about the situation, these fair questions as to what happened to her because Niji Sanji and their management wasn't saying anything. 
But we also saw, and we covered this in the main video, this hashtag, where is Selen? That only a few days ago, people were mocking. People were calling this stupid and, and childish to ask this question, even going as far as to say it's entitled to ask this question. Well, guess what? Those people look really stupid because people's worst fears about the situation were in fact confirmed. And now these people are trying to join in and say, oh my God, what have they done to Selen? This is terrible. Meanwhile, they were mocking this hashtag only days ago. But yeah, uh, now she's on her new account, Doki Bird. I I've witnessed her gain tens of thousands of subs on this YouTube account in only hours. And now she's reached 100K. And as this user points out, hey, look at that. A play button she'll actually be able to keep. Yeah, that's another thing with Niji Sanji. It, it seems very clear that they don't allow their talents to keep their own 100K subscriber plaques from YouTube. They keep it for themselves in their corporate office, which is absolutely insane. And also, you know, I can feel the pain. I don't have my 100K uh, plaque yet. Yeah, that's a little ancient rev lore, but I still don't have the plaque on my main channel, despite hitting 100K like four years ago. But that, that's an issue for another day. But as always, uh, the, the best way to deal with the situation is to keep moving forward, and that's exactly what she's doing on her Dirk Doki Bird account. So I will provide a link to her account in the description as well. Go there, give it a follow, check out her, her related accounts because... Clearly, she is going to be moving forward with these things, and she's going to have an explosive career. We all know this is going to happen, but yeah. That's just my extra thoughts about the situation. A couple of things that have popped up in the hours since my main channel video went live. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time.